If I feel like what I am doing isn't necessarily serving the purpose of why I started doing it, got to be a part of this. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome or welcome back to EGO Initiative. This platform is specifically for those of you who are similar to me, who wear multiple hats on the go, and you're looking for ways to prioritize your wellness. You have so many responsibilities and so many people that depend on you. It's like, there's no time to think about yourself. So I really want to create content for that type of woman because I've definitely been there before. And example and proof is what I like to be. Today's video is a week in a life vlog. I'm going to be sharing how I'm currently prioritizing my wellness in this season. I hope that this gives you some tips and ideas of ways that I'm showing up differently in this season and prioritizing my wellness. I am currently on my break from my nine to five. I am drinking my breakfast smoothie and I'm gonna take my vitamins and then I'm gonna get back to work. Tuesday, second day of the work week. Today, a full day as per usual. It's currently 9.35. I start my 9 to 5 at 10 a.m. I am going to record a reel just before that. After my 9 to 5, I have a workshop. And after that workshop, I have to prep some pieces for a challenge that I'm doing for EGO initiative. So there's quite a few things to do today. My plate is full. Even though I work from home, I still get ready. Like I'm like leaving my house physically because when you look good, you feel good. If I can find my earlobe, that would be great. I guess I can talk a little bit more about my little hiatus that I took. Every few months or so, even though I'm hoping not to continue to make this a habit, but if I feel like what I am doing isn't necessarily serving the purpose of why I started doing it, I like to just fully pause and reevaluate. I know in social media land, it's not always best to like take those breaks, but I try to be really intentional with everything I do. And I don't think it makes sense to talk about wellness, to be a wellness entrepreneur. Helping people through their wellness journey is what my business is. And so if I am not well myself, then I'm being a hypocrite. And so I have to be mindful of how I'm showing up and creating my business as well so that I'm not being drained by the work that I do. And then I also have to make certain decisions as to what's working, what's not working in my business so that I can you know, live a comfortable enough lifestyle to actually be in a position to help people, right? Because if I'm not well myself, how can I teach people to be well? And so what that looks like is me, you know, getting a nine to five so I can, there are some skill sets that I want to learn because eventually I want to, the goal is to expand my business into a full wellness agency. And so I want to learn different aspects of actually like, you know, hiring a team and managing a team and what that looks like. And so my nine to five provides me with that while I still get to do what I love. I say all that to say I took a break and just to get clear on how I wanted to move forward in that break, I also got a job. So then the break ended up being longer than I anticipated because my schedule looks different. And in prioritizing my wellness that was something that or this was something I have a lot of recorded content it's mostly about editing and that's something that I will need to outsource for I, I know this it's definitely on the list it's just not top priority at this point so with that being said my schedule looks very different so I have to be intentional about what I'm dedicating time to this definitely is important because you know my a part of my mission is to be an example and proof and so that is also at the forefront of my mind. So like I was saying, I've recorded a lot of content. It's just about the editing. And so I am, as I get into, get more comfortable with my new schedule, then I'm gonna be able to record some of these pieces 
but I believe this vlog will be one of the first things that come out when I do start posting more consistently. So I hope this is something that you all find value from and you're able to utilize some of the things that I share. Some of you have asked about doing a whole like grocery shop with me in a grocery haul and um, meal planning videos. So those things are coming. That is why I've been gone and that is how I plan to show up moving forward. And of course it may change if I find that this does not currently work for me, but I will keep y'all updated on all of those good pieces. This is pretty much all I do on a daily basis. I do my brows, I do eyeliner, and then I put on mascara. This is what we're looking like today. Is this a look, y'all? What do y'all think? I'm about to be fully a whole year of being locked for the second time. Um, if I had left the first batch in, this would be close to two years, but it's okay because I did not like how I had done the twist. You can see some of the twists are still there after a year, but we're getting there slowly but surely. We definitely like lengthening and thicken up a little bit, but yeah. I'm gonna stop talking because I gotta record this reel and get started. I have five minutes to do so, make myself some coffee, and then start my work day. Here we go. Not gonna mess this up. Not gonna mess this up. Here we go. Ready? Hi. lunchtime slash actually time for me to have my breakfast and take my vitamins. I think I've mentioned this on the channel before. I intermittent fast so I usually don't have breakfast until about noon. I'll have coffee beforehand, coffee or tea, but I don't usually have breakfast until noon and that's like lunchtime at my nine to five. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna make myself same smoothie pretty much. Sea moss, berries, bananas oat milk, dates. So I like to split my breaks in half when I'm working at eight hour shift, so to speak. So I'll do 30 minutes earlier around noon to make like breakfast and stuff. And then lunchtime is another 30 minutes. However, I do do like a, almost like a working breakfast. And so I'll take the first half of that break to schedule some stuff for social media posts or EGO initiative. And then the other half will be to like actually make my breakfast. Then I'll work while I have breakfast. So that's the first break that I take. And the second break, when I heat up my lunch, then that's more so when I'll actually take that break and then eat. So this is my first break. I did some social media stuff beforehand. I'm recording this piece and now I'm gonna make my smoothie and then actually get back to work. So that'll pretty much cover the 30 minutes. And then the next 30 minutes that I take is usually around three or 3.30 or so, depending on what my meeting schedule looks like for the day, then is when I have my actual lunch. So yeah. And back to work I go. My tiny little corner office. One day will be a whole, a whole actual office space. All right, y'all. So I am done with my nine to five for the day. It is just after three, three thirteen, and I'm just sitting here giving myself a moment. I am very hungry so it's lunch time for sure but i also am getting a little sleepy <sighs> i've been sitting here trying to figure out what i want more food or a nap just to kind of like decompress from being on in my nine to five and having to like talk a lot and strategize and think about things what was i saying sometimes when I vlog, I literally forget what I'm saying in the middle of my sentence or like the point I was trying to make. I'm very wordy sometimes. That's something that I'm actively working on to say what I'm trying to say with the least amount of words as possible. So to be concise, I will check back in with you all. I might insert a clip of the workshop. 
depending on what we're focusing on today. I try to be mindful of recording workshops and stuff because I work with vulnerable populations. I work with a lot of organizations that support folks with mental health. I work with young people, people that are grieving. And so I try to be mindful of what I'm recording. So I might just do either a time lapse or just a little bit of like when I'm talking and giving an intro of what the workshop is going to be about. This is just the first half of my day. So when I really say I do all the things and I love everything that I do, I, that just means that I need to be intentional about how I'm doing all of those things so I don't burn out on a daily basis. And that's why I'm so passionate about talking about prioritizing your wellness daily. So yes, this is a week in my life. You did the the pre-activity that I suggested last week. Yeah. yeah. So that was that on that workshop. The next thing on my list is to write a draft of my newsletter that I usually send out on Wednesdays. I'm a little tired, so I'm going to take a quick mental break before I hop into the next thing. imperial system of Ghana those were the kingdoms oh my goodness y'all it has been a day why am I looking yellow okay I wonder if that's better <sighs> I I want to share so much in this moment but I'm utterly exhausted that was a three hour session on anti-black racism and my work and honestly and I shared I wish I got a clip of that but I was sharing and the question was like how you feel right now and we, we the facilitator shared some stuff and I just kept thinking about and I'm not going to fully quote it because my head's not covered um the scripture about oppression like, I'm just, I can't even put into words how I'm feeling right now because it's not very cohesive. I'm just so annoyed and drained by stuff like that. I'm going to go make my smoothie and shake off this feeling. That's something that I try to do during the day in my work. And I shared this on Instagram, I think yesterday as well. I was sharing that it's very easy to really, really love the work that you do and be passionate about it and recognize that there are still some times when you feel tired or drained and also identifying the difference between the two. Tired is just like physically tired from either not getting enough sleep or tired in the moment and I just need a quick break. And then drained is just like, ugh, I don't want to do this anymore. Like it just literally sucks the life out of me. And so I the practice that I like to do when I take my breaks and usually at the end of my day as well is thinking about what are some parts of my day that really was just like, oh, I'm just kind of tired and I need a quick break. And what are the parts of my day was just like, I'm super drained by this particular part of my work. And so I'm super drained by this type of conversations that happen in educational institutions and corporate spaces that stuff is draining and that's part of the reason why I wanted to become an entrepreneur I wanted to go into business for myself but of course there's certain things that I have to learn within specific institutions but I say all that to say a really good practice for prioritizing around this daily and really understanding who you are and how you are and how you want to show up in the world is really thinking about parts of what you do, whether you love it or not, or whether it's a necessity in terms of your job, or just like on a regular day-to-day -day basis. Be mindful of some of the things that drain you and make a note of those things and give yourself time to pour back into your proverbial cup, so to speak, but also make note of those things and know that you have to make a decision moving forward whether those things have to be a part of what you do or a part of your day and what are some pieces or systems and processes you're going to put in place so that when you are going into those activities you prepare yourself and then when you're coming out of those activities you also prepare yourself so this could look like a many different things that I shared earlier what I'm going to do right now 
because I have to continue a work day. I'm gonna check in with my people. I'm going to make my smoothie. I'm gonna shake off this feeling, like like literally shake shake it all out. And yeah, so those are some of the things I'm going to do and I'm naming it because I'm not gonna record it because I just don't feel like being on right now, but I did wanna share that piece with you all. That's my little rant for Wednesday. I think this is probably gonna be the last thing that I share today of me like actually talking. I might insert clips of my meals here and there, but I don't really feel like vlogging the rest of the day. I will do my best for y'all though, because example and proof is what I like to be. Nothing grosses me out more than hair. Someone else's hair on things. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's quite disgusting. Ugh. Anyways, I'm excited. Happy Thursday, y'all. So I am stepped out the house to get coffee this morning instead of making mine. It's just been one of those days I tried to pull an all-nighter and get some stuff done for EGO to prep for, I think, one of my first and only sales this year on all of my courses and my services. So by the time y'all are seeing this, the sale might be over. I, I tried to pull an all-nighter. Well, not an all-nighter, but I tried to look up a little bit earlier. My body was like, nope, sis. So I'm a little off my schedule today, but that's all right. It's definitely something I can get back, back into even like later on today. But I'm going to get coffee before I start work today. My first meeting is at 9.30. So I have a little bit of time to kind of ease into my day. But yeah, I'm gonna get a coffee and probably a little quiche that they make from the coffee store around the corner from my house. I'm gonna get that and we will get the day started. So as I mentioned, I got a vegan quiche, carrot cake, and an Americano. <clears throat> so I'm about to start my first meeting and of course my internet is nowhere to be found. <sighs> technology be technology when it wants to. What I am excited about is this black dress. We'll talk about it next week because it's 5.30 now. Okay? All right. Bye, y'all. Good luck on yeah, your test. <sighs> hey, y'all. So, it is officially the end of my work week. Today has been one of those days. It's going to continue to be one of those days. I feel like I've said this every single day. But my work week is technically over, but not quite because I'm still working on the last minute like technical pieces of my course sales. So I have some final pieces to do for that. I'm not going to get to that much later because in about 20 minutes, I have a call with one of my mentees for one of the programs or organizations that I work with. I'm, a, I'm an artist mentor. And so I have a call with a mentee shortly after that. I didn't work out this morning. So I'm going to get in a quick 20 minute core workout and then I have a class after that that is for the some of the women in my church. And then after that is when I'm going to finish all the pieces for the sale so that I can send out that email to my email list, my newsletter tribe, because they also get an, like, an extra discount on top of what I'm offering the general public. And so I'm going to send that email or I'm going to schedule that email to go first thing in the morning so that they have access to the sale as well. I say all that to say I have a longer night ahead of me but I get to sleep in tomorrow morning because it's technically my CEO day on Fridays where I just go over my finances and like all the things in my business just to kind of make sure things add up and see what I need to focus on for the following week in my business. So Fridays are good for that but I get to sleep in a little bit and then do that and prep for the Sabbath. And the journey continues. So 
that is all. I think this is probably going to be the last clip for the night just so I can focus on all the things that I need to do. But I will see you all tomorrow. Peace and love. Happy Friday, y'all. So I'm going to keep it a book. <laughs> it is many months later, but I realized as I was editing, I didn't record a closing to this vlog. But luckily, it is a Friday, and I guess I can just talk through it a little bit. My Fridays... Maybe I should put the camera down. You can see my tripod in the back. There you go, because my arm was hurting. So it is a Friday, and for the most part, what I do on Fridays is, like I mentioned earlier, Friday is my CEO day, and that means that I just look at stuff like beyond the admin stuff. It's my time to plan, to look at my finances, and think about things that I want to focus on for the next week for my business in terms of what type of content am I producing so that I can bring more awareness to my brand or do I need to pitch or do I need to respond to certain emails like for instance I have a someone who reached out to me to potentially come speak to their group and so things of that nature is what I focus on for my CEO day so the main things that I do is I check my finances and then I think about what my content is for the next week and the goal of my content essentially I don't necessarily create the content for the most part on Fridays I try to have that day to just like do things like high level as opposed to being like the employee in my business so to speak that's why it's called the ceo day at least for me and that's how i'm interpreting it i got this concept from women ceo project i honestly cannot for the life of me think of her name right now but she always talks about the idea of having a ceo day a day where you are not necessarily working in your business but you're working on your business and so that's what fridays usually are for me but also being that friday is prep day for the sabbath i make sure that i meal prep and then for the most part, I just clean what is left over from the week. So I have a weekly cleaning schedule so that on Friday, I'm not doing the most. And it's just kind of like tidying up a little bit. And then I usually leave my bathroom, I clean my bathroom weekly on Fridays. But throughout the week, I'll kind of touch it up where, where necessary. And so those are the main things that I do. Hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. And again, again my goal is to be an example and and proof and show you some real day-to-day -day life stuff and like really talk through some of the the things that I'm doing to prioritize my wellness and the systems that I kind of have in place depending on what my schedule looks like or what my work looks like and then being able to shift around some of my routines and habits around the new things that are coming up in my life and so I really want to encourage you all to think about how your life shifts per quarter per season and what that looks like and think about what your new systems might need to be moving forward in those seasons or whether or not you need to start building on new habits and new routines. All right, that's all I have for you all today. Until next time, take care.